Hey guys, so this is a little bit different from my usual nutrition content, but I want to share this IKEA transformation with you. So I took these mope, mope, mope drawers from IKEA and I transformed them into this. This is my new console table for my entranceway and I absolutely love it. You know, I looked for a console table that was thin enough, that had little drawers and I couldn't find it. So I thought, why not do it myself? It was super, super easy and I just love how it turned out. So let me show you how I did it. Well, I used this paint. It's a Dulux outdoor paint. It's just what I had on hand. And it's called Antique White. That's the color I used. But I didn't want it to be too white and opaque, so I diluted it using half water and half paint. And then I just got a paintbrush and I did a coat. Of course, I needed to have a glass of wine with me at the same time. And you just want to add in a bit of the paint, making sure that it's not too wet. Otherwise, it can end up warping it a little bit. So you just want to go slowly. I only did one coat in the end, but I kind of loved the way that it turned out. I still wanted to see some of that grain underneath, and I think it turned out really well. Once it was dry, then very simply, I just need to add in the holes to add those knobs. So to find the center point, all I did was use two threads. I lined them up into a cross, and then that gave me the center point for every cabinet. Then once I drilled a hole in one of them, I could use that as a stencil to help me get the symmetrical hole for the same size drawer. So I lined them up, got a pencil, and then drew a dot where the hole was. And then I could just make sure I drilled in the exact same place on the same size drawer. So on the mope, the mop, whatever, <laughs> you have these little like holes at the front. So all I did is I actually flipped them around so that the back became the new front so that you wouldn't have those, you know, trademark holes there and it would look a little bit more sophisticated. So I went to drill the holes in the new front, which is the actual back. Then I just repeated the process to find the center point on all of the drawers. And with the large drawers, the extra large drawers, I actually added two holes in them just because I wanted them to be a little more symmetrical and balanced. So once I'd found where the holes needed to be, I just got my power drill out and I added in a hole. And then my husband's just screwed in the handles where they needed to be. So it went very, very quickly. So these are the little knobs that I ended up going with. I ordered them online. I'll, I'll share a link down below in case you want to get the exact same ones. They're actually a lot smaller than most other knobs. And this is how it ended up turning out. I think it looks really lovely. I actually lost one of the knobs, so you can see it's missing over there, but I ended up finding it later and I added it. So now I need to just attach it to the wall. You can attach it however you like, whatever pattern you like. So this is the straight version, or you can make one higher than the other. I ended up going for one where it was kind of slanted, so started lower, ended up higher. Now to attach it to the wall, it's so simple. You have to drill a hole into the wall and find one of these plugs that's the same, well it's kind of the perfect size to go in the hole. Then you get a screw and you screw in the cabinet into the wall and those plugs. And there you go, it's standing up beautifully. You're just gonna make sure that you make everything level and straight so it looks really good once you've hung it. So you don't have to attach to the wall if you don't want to, if you're renting. You might get away with being able to use some really strong double-sided tape and secure it to the wall. These are pretty light cabinets and you can just secure them separately one by one. Or you can go online and you can find some feet that are going to help you lift these off the floor. I kind of love that they're levitating and they're floating. Um, it lets me vacuum clean underneath and you know one of these, these are the practical things you think about when you get older. Anyway, this is what the final cabinet looks like and I absolutely love it. It's everything I wanted and it was seriously so easy. One of the things I did notice is that the drawers were a little bit sticky and they didn't slide in and out so easily. So I used this really simple hack. You get a bar of soap and then you simply run it across the edges anywhere where it can cause friction. Um, so I did the top and I did the bottom as well. And once I did this, the drawers went in so easily. It took me just a moment to run the soap across all of these drawers. And there you go. My cabinet is done. 
I'm feeling great about it. I hope you like it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, leave me a comment. If you hate it, leave me a comment, but be nice about it, please. I am very sensitive. And if you like, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and of course, I'd be so grateful if you give this video a thumbs up. Thanks guys.